Oh, Najio, what's up, everybody? All right, we're at Gwangjon Market in Seoul, Korea. It's a very famous market. It's the oldest market in Korea. It has thousands of stalls, shops, food, things to eat, things to buy. It is absolutely phenomenal. There's been TV shows shot here. There's been movies shot here. There's a lady that has a, a stall in there that Netflix Street Eats did a whole entire thing about. I had it. It was phenomenal. That's going to be a separate video. You've already seen that before this video comes out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go walk around. I'm going to show you what you can eat in this market and I'm going to show you what you can buy. So if you do like this video, I'd appreciate if you smash that like button, comment in, and of course, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel for more world travels. Currently, we're in Seoul. We're going to be here in Korea for the next two weeks. So let me show you around. So it, as you walk into the market, you'll just get a waft of amazing smells. It's not like a Vietnamese market where you'll kind of get like chopped poultry mixed with vegetable, like a, a not very good smell. As soon as you hit the street here when you walk in, you smell fermented kimchi, you smell delicious soups, you smell different fermented radishes. It, you just get, your, your nose profile gets hit with literally like hundreds of different tasty smells right now i'm getting sweet sweet floral smells like it's just absolutely phenomenal at how cool these places are and the amount of different food you can get from stall to stall greatly varies everything's always going to come with banchan this would be the famous lady we already shot this if you didn't see that video i don't know what you're doing go go ahead and watch that video she's the famous lady from it I did not have her wait on me. I had her partner wait on me and she was very good. Come <laughs> Her uh, partner waited on me, another lady, and she was phenomenally nice. You'll see that in the video that you've already seen. So she's a very nice lady. That stall is absolutely phenomenal. Lots of people smashing down some soju with their lunch, which I absolutely love one thing I really really enjoy about the Korean culture is the smashing of alcohol all the time <laughs> I don't have anything against it there are high levels of gout uh, in Korean people and of course high blood pressure and all that good stuff but that's the same like it's pretty bad in uh, Vietnam too it's lots of diabetes and lots of high blood pressure in Vietnam I mean as you can see look at the pig foot Here. Friendly people, just like you would see in Vietnam. I personally have an affinity and a love for Seoul and for Korea. It's absolutely one of my favorite countries to travel to. If you're watching this video and thinking about traveling here, you absolutely should. You do not want to sleep on it. I would say the last month you can really come before it gets a little cold. And I have been here when it's been cold. It's not tremendous. But uh, I would say anytime past October, it's going to be a little cold. You're going to need a like actual jacket and stuff. There's some more tabaki. And then some kippimbap, kippimbap, which is like sushi. Kind of like sushi, but it's not. Usually has a carrot, some kind of meat through it. Very delicious stuff. The pancakes I absolutely love that she's making right now. These things are delicious. They've got like scallion in it. I think potato. They're really, really good. I tend to not get these anymore when I do like eat Korean barbecue because they're so starchy, they fill you up, but they're absolutely phenomenal. Like this lady's looks amazing. It's like a must try if you haven't had before. Definitely, definitely want to get the Korean pancake. Oh, it's just, it's an overload on smells. I'm pretty full, but maybe we'll try to eat somewhere else. Maybe we'll find a bottle of soju. This is a mung bean pancake over here. I don't think they're all mung bean. But I've had all the different pancakes, they're delicious. There's a little fried fish thing. Again, I'm not too big on like fried sweet foods anymore. Back in the day when I was like a kid, yeah, these pancakes. Don't sleep on these pancakes. But like I said, be warned, they're starchy and they're very full. They, they, they fill you up very quickly. 
So masks are no longer mandated, only if you are inside in a fully closed space. It's like 50-50 people wearing masks here. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to walk up every aisle to show you the different foods. So this is what I had from that lady, this dumpling soup. One's a kimchi dumpling with pork, and then another one is just the pork with like uh, scallions. Phenomenal. You've already seen that in the video. This market's gigantic, so I wanna kinda show you the whole thing. I'm already on my second battery. We filmed so much content just in the first day and the first half of the day. And then of course, like any staple in Asia, any market is of course gonna have household goods, so you don't actually have to go to another market to get toothpaste and stuff when you've come to get like produce or a meal, something like that. Okay, let's go back down this way. <laughs> yeah, now you get those vibes of kind of like a Vietnam market, Hong Kong market. Okay, let's. Now we're back in the food. A couple stalls closed here. Maybe they open up later. I'm sure this gets way more packed at night. You got a little Korean barbecue spot here, which I bet you is delicious. Kind of already just gives me that vibe that it is delicious. I would say almost anything here, you can't go wrong. Also, this backside's like the, the vitamin depot. Okay, I see, what, I see what's happening. Oh, those noodles were so good. This place looks pretty popular too. Lots of old guys here. Pounding down bottles of soju. I love that they're all drinking soju at 1240. I've been at this market since 1030. Oh, this place is popping. What is this place? This place looks very popular. The whole place is packed. I don't think we went down this area. I'm almost confused now because it's just so much stuff. You got a cute little dog with them. Hi, doggy. Another little popular stand here. Wow. As you can see, it just goes like endless in these like finger directions. It's pretty awesome. And each stall is pretty busy. Oh, I can't wait to have a, a cost and a height. It's been too long. I've consumed zero alcohol here, although I'm far behind my fellow Koreans. Wow. Oh, this is the Netflix thing. So I came on the back side. I see what I did. Let me try to walk my way through here. Now I kind of got my bearings. Hello, Tim Tim. So we walked through here, came through here, we took a right. Okay, so we'll take a left. It's just endless food stall, guys. Like, you could come here and eat every day and not probably have a bad meal. I was so happy with the Netflix lady's food. It was phenomenal. Hotties everywhere. I think Korea's a little slept on right now. Like, don't sleep on Korea. Roll it into your possible places to go. So it's a different vibe than Southeast Asia too, like, you know, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia. It's a totally different vibe, so it's worth checking out. Oh, this lady's stall is pretty popular too with the tabaki. I always fuck, mess up saying that. Her pancakes are popular too, but if you see how starchy they are, like, man, one will just take you out immediately. Not an easy thing to consume. So now let's walk into the market. I showed you a, lunch, a lot of the food. Now when I first got here at around 10.30, there was nobody here. I actually filmed this already once before. But then my better judgment told me to wait until people come and now I'm reshooting. So you got seafood vendors over here. 
they've got all the fermented different stuff. You've got fermented cabbage kimchi. You've got fermented radish. You got fermented like little <laughs> everything. She's got it all. What is this? Octopus. Octopus. Okay. Let's give it a try. Mm, it's good. It's good. Crab? No, I'm okay on crab. No? I don't like the soft crab. It's okay. That I've had. Come sell me now. It was good. It tastes just like kimchi. Literally the same flavors in the kimchi. I've had the, the soft crab before. I don't like the texture in my mouth. I've had that exact crab she was offering me. Maybe I'll grow to acquire to like it, but and I'm so full. Different, so this is a kipium bapo. So this is what you mix the rice with all the ingredients. It's like a mortar pestle looking type bowl. These, these you can do like steam day again and all kinds of other stuff. Boy, if you think making a steam day is easy, it's not. It takes a master of the, of the arts to make a perfected steam egg. If you've never had a steamed egg, I highly recommend you get one with your next Korean barbecue. It'll be available at all the Korean barbecues here. As, as, it's usually a banchan, so they'll usually bring it out to you for free. And they prepare it in all different ways, but very, very delicious. My favorite way to have egg, actually. I'm not a big egg guy. More street food, mild, spicy, and seaweed. Seaweed's gonna taste very seafoody, if you like that. I know there's a top part, but I don't think we'll explore that. <sighs> this restaurant's pretty popular. Everybody's pounding soju, man. I like that you can just legit pound soju by yourself. Kind of my type of thing. I want to sit down and pound some of you. Now the thing I have noticed, if it's even more heavy of a uh, crackdown on smoking. She was cute. She's thumbnail worthy. Hopefully she is the thumbnail. She went for it. But the smoking crackdown's way more intense than when I was here last time. You know, you used to be able to just kind of sneak out the restaurant and just go smoke a cigarette. Now they've got like designated little huts, kind of like how Hong Kong has like the circle drawn on the ground. They're definitely trying to get rid of get rid of smoking here hard, which I don't blame them. Not a bad idea. Although a lot of Koreans still smoke. Like I'll try to film one when we're out on a walk. There's like 50 dudes underneath this like little smoking area. Every one of them I go by. This market's way more massive. There's way more stuff to see. You can go down the fingerlings and see more stuff. Like if I remember right, this is all textile down here. We're in like the textile area of the market. <laughs> the Koreans are very friendly. They're all waving these days. Yeah, all textile down here. So I know like textile is pretty boring, but there's an entire wing over here and then you go left or right is textile. So like, you can get suits made here, you can buy the material, all that stuff. I don't know how much it is to actually get a suit made here, but I imagine it's at least a couple hundred bucks. And probably can go all the way up. So I'll walk you over to this entrance and then we'll wrap up this. And if there's any more, I'm gonna go walk around without the camera so we're not like filming boring stuff. I'll turn the camera back on and we'll film that. So like, a, you know, you can get some pillows, some down comforters, things like this. I'll show you like this entrance to where the non-food part is. It's a gigantic center, so it has multiple entrances. I've already walked like 20,000 steps today. Yeah. And it's not even one. I imagine I'm gonna be walking 30,000 steps a day, kind of like Singapore days. this this is oh shirts dress shirts and now you got the little clothing area you can get some shirts some pants some dress slacks some clothing for like mid mid 40s 50s women
as ever smash that like button leave a comment subscribe to see more cool content like this we're going to be completely exploring seoul and we're going to then take the bullet train from seoul to busan documenting how that works for you and then we're going to go from busan to jeju and i'll document how to get there as well and we're going to do a bunch of activities at each place we're going to go fishing you know we're going to explore seoul we're going to explore busan we're going to do all kinds of touristy stuff and then all kinds of non-touristy stuff we're also going to check out the red light area of seoul i hear there is one i don't know how successful we'll be at filming this is what the main entrance looks like though all right guys that was the famous Wangjong market absolutely a must visit you should make it your first meal when you get here like i did absolutely couldn't start in a better spot to have a wonderful bowl of noodles. So highly recommend it, guys. Stay frosty. See you on the next one. Peace out.